Hello YouTube. Uh, this is my fourth video. Um, today I'm going to be on the topic of my altar. As you can see, it's a bit messy, a bit busy. Um, but it is my altar is. It's not a freestanding one. It does move about. I can take it outside. I can have it in any really room I wish, depending on what I'm doing. I might be doing a cleansing, I might be um, calling for help from the gods, um, I might be protecting the house, I might be blessing people. Sometimes people say, oh someone's not very well and can you please send a blessing and I'll say well yes I'll have the name of the person I will write down the name I will do a little rhyme um, it's not always the same it could be different it could be a poem that you write anything that flows well with the thing the topic go with it it's it's, it's precisely up to you um, because of course witchcraft is very uh, your own thing and um, it's not written in stone uh, if anybody is actually wondering what the tune is behind me it is actually Hans Zimmer Sangreal I think it's called I think there is a little bit longer um, uh, what was he saying a little bit longer um, title but uh, I think it's in French so I'm not even going to attempt to say what it is uh, but it's a nice tune I hope you're enjoying it it's from the film Da Vinci Code by the way um, as you can see this is my auto it is autumn now we've just had last night it was all Aloe's Eve. Um, so it is actually the first of November today, and some traditions, like the Norse traditions, they actually do have the Day of the Dead on the first of November. Um, the, the veil is still very thin now. Um, spirits can come and go as they please in my house as long as they are good spirits I don't allow any evil or negative energy in my house I cleanse it nearly daily when it is um, at this time of year like now I've got as you can see I've got a joss stick burning this is actually a dr uh, dragon's blood that's actually burning now um, I've got oak leaves for the oak king that is soon to depart and go and the um, holly king will rule in his stead. Of course I've got feathers, I love feathers, I collect feathers. This one is my absolute favourite. It's actually a, a buzzard's feather. It's actually the biggest Apart from in Scotland, um, it's actually the mo second most biggest bird in Britain, I believe. Well, uh, bird of prey anyway. It's nearly the same size as an eagle, but it's not quite. So that's my, I always call it an eagle feather, but it's not really. It's, it's um, a buzzard feather. Um, I've got many different feathers here, crow feathers, pigeon feathers, um, swan feathers, let me just pick a swan feather out, I think that's a swan feather, yeah there's a swan feather, beautiful, oh, sorry I've just dropped a few there, the, some of these are very old, some of these my oldest uh, 
children are 14 and 17 and uh, they got some of these feathers when they were about five so some of them are very old indeed one of the rarest feathers I've actually got is this it's a J feather and it's most probably the color the, the most colorfulest bird in Britain it's a J and they're related to the to the crow and to the magpie. Beautiful, isn't it? There we go. I'll just put that one there and the rest that have fallen on the floor, I'll pick them up later. There we go. Uh, I've got a little guard here. I don't know if you can see. Very small. Uh, I think it could be one of the Hindu gods. And I actually got that for a bargain. It was about, I think it was two pounds. Because it is brass and it is, it's quite heavy really for such a small object. Um, I found, well, my children found me a shell. I have got quite a few more others upstairs. Um, I've got a quartz crystal. Actually, we found that on the beach. It was my daughter that found that. It was that was a long time ago now, about five years ago. Um, this one is what is it? It's um, I think it's amethyst, amethyst crystal. That's very good for cleansing and keeping all evil away. Um, and also. This is most probably my one of my prized possessions, apart from my staff. It's actually a beautiful crystal ball. I actually got this from my mother-in-law for Christmas. I actually wanted a crystal ball that was about that big from the shop. Um, because I know crystal balls are very expensive. Um, and um, I told my wife and she says oh yeah I'll most probably get you one you know because obviously she was they were planning on getting me one for Christmas and I didn't know so of course um, I thought oh they must have forgot or you know it's too expensive which you know sometimes you've got children you put things on the back of burner don't you you know but um, yes and um, what a surprise it was on Christmas when, I'm not sure how big it is, you know, this is how big it is in my hands. So, it's, um, it's not, it hasn't got any inclusions in it. Um, I think it's inclusions or something like that. Um, um, so, yeah. The, um, the base, now of course with um, crystal balls is you have to give them a name. You have to give them a name and you have to link your own energy with the energy of the crystal ball. Because the crystal ball is thousands of years old. Um, um, and on the base of the crystal ball are the three gods, I believe, of Norse mythology, which are past, present and future. Now these are some of the most powerfulest gods. They're even older than Odin and all the other gods put together. These are the main gods that created the matter before the world. Odin created the world with his brothers. Billy and Ve, but these gods are the gods that really are behind the power of Odin. And what Odin wanted is, Odin wanted to know knowledge. Now, there is a well, and the well is called Mimi as well. And um, that is above, because you've got the world tree. 
and above the will, uh, you've got your will tree, and right by the roots of Yggdrasil, the will tree, you've got Mimi as well, and then you've got the Norns well. I'm not sure what the, the well of the Norns is called, you'll have to look it up. Uh, maybe next time I shall get, for another video, I shall get the name for you, so you'll know if you haven't got time for yourself to check. Um, uh, by the way, please um, uh, click you viewed it, uh, uh, my video, and also leave some comments below. I don't care if it's good or bad comments, just comment please, so I know how good I'm doing with my videos. Because, like I say, this is my fourth video, uh, and I've had no comments as yet, so please comment. Uh, I have put, on, I think, on one of my videos, thank you for watching, and I can do that on all of them so people don't think I'm ignoring them. So please comment. Um, as Anyway, back to Mimi as well. Now, Mimi as well is above the Norns, and what it was, Odin wanted knowledge, and Mimi, the god of the Mimi as well, he said if anyone wants to drink from my well they have to give their right eye and no one was prepared to give their right eye for knowledge but Odin simply plucked out his eye and put it into the well and that that eye still stays apparently still there today but Odin from that moment on he drank from the waters and he knew past, present and future. And he even knew the fate of the gods. Um, so for that reason my crystal ball is called Mimir. From Mimir as well. Because below them is the Norns. And I believe they are the Norns. They could be the, uh, the Greek. Because you've got Greek three past, present, future ones too. But I like to think that they're the Norse ones because uh, we actually I actually did my family tree and it actually goes back to um, Norse the Norse people the um, Scandinavians and the uh, <coughs> people from Iceland and a lot and one of them is actually uh, one of the giants of uh, I think it was uh, Skodjold yeah, it was one of the giants from the the, the myths of the Norse mythology. Um, so, and also, I've, uh, last night, because last night was um, Halloween, and what I've done, I've made my friend at work some runes, and these runes are simply what I like to call witch runes, where they aren't witch runes as the symbol witch runes. These are the Eldar Futhark runes. But what I mean is they're made simply by pumpkin seeds. And they dried pumpkin seeds. I've had to dry them for about three, three days. And then last night I actually inscribed them. If there was a full moon last night, I would have placed them under the full moon. But I just placed them on my altar last night to get power. I I got my uh, pentacle out and placed them on my pentacle. Uh, there's 25 in this set. Normally there's 24. But that is without the, um, the blank rune, which is Odin's rune. The blank rune, as is what it says, it's blank. It's got no inscription or, or symbol on whatsoever so there's 25 there that is the elder futhark which is the actual um alphabet odin himself hang on he hung himself on a tree for three days and he was dying i believe it was with a spear in his side uh, and then when he woke he actually